Hi, Career Sighted. I'm Aaron Sutherland. I'm a water resources engineer. My job entails overseeing the survey and design and construction of all of our wetland restoration projects in the three state region that I cover, which is Oklahoma, New Mexico, and Texas. Our focus is where migratory waterfowl are most prevalent. I would say about 90% of my work is on the Gulf Coast in Texas between Corpus Christi and Port Arthur. As a licensed professional engineer, I'm responsible for stamping all of our designs that go through my office, which makes me also liable for my designs. So I gotta make sure that what we're doing is up to snuff, so to speak. So when I'm in the office, I'm typically working on or overseeing design specifications for projects. I'm helping out some of our scientists and our managers with budgets and project reconnaissance and engineering personnel. My field time typically consists of an initial project reconnaissance with one of our scientists. We may be walking into a degraded marsh, developed ag land, whatever our project is, and it looks nothing like what it's gonna look like when we're done with it. We go look at a piece of property, for instance, and we see if it would fit within our habitat goals. And if it does, then proceed with a feasibility study on if we can make that project work in our time frame, in our budget, with our personnel, with our expertise. And then if we can, from that point, I assign our technicians, our surveyors, our project engineers to come out and do typically a, a bathymetric or a topographic survey. They'll go out and give me a good interpretation of how the land or the water lays. That gives me the foundation of which my designs will be based. I'll take a design and I'll work on it anywhere from six months to a year. As we prepare to go to construction, I can get back in the field and make sure what I'm seeing in my plan matches with what's in the field. And then as we go to construction, we'll be back out in the field to bid a project to contractors. And then as we bid it and we get prices and we know that we can afford to go to construction with the project, we coordinate construction activities with the contractor and we oversee all of those construction activities. And as the regional engineer, I oversee our construction managers that oversee the construction. So we'll coordinate a pre-construction meeting and then we'll do day-to-day -day construction inspection. I'm typically in the field two to three times a month. My field staff's in the field two to three times a week. I have two employees that I personally supervise. I supervise a project engineer as well as an engineering technician. If you know what you want to do and you know you want to get into water resources or environmental engineering or agricultural engineering or civil engineering, there's lots of different ways to describe the kind of engineering that I do. I received a degree in biological systems engineering, so obviously science and math were courses that I knew I should focus on. We get a four-year degree in an engineering curriculum, and once we graduate, we have to apprentice, so to speak, under a professional engineer for four years, and then we qualify to take our exam and then we can become a licensed professional engineer. Each state is different, but the state of Texas were required to obtain 30 professional development hours. And most states are about that number. It's one of the most satisfying and gratifying career choices that I could have ever made. Thanks, Career Sighted.